Wolf Gang, what's good with it? Back at it with a quick video for y'all. Hey, as a man, you must, to the best of your abilities, I know it gets hard, but you must maintain control of your emotions. Because if you let your emotions take control of, over you, it's going to lead to a dark path, right? You don't want to be known as an over-emotional guy. That's probably like the number one sign of a weak guy. Just a guy that's emotions is everywhere. An unstable guy. Now, I'm not saying dudes don't have emotions. We're human. We all have emotions. But you have to be able to control and regulate those emotions. So, like... You shouldn't be a guy that throws a fit when things doesn't go his way, right? You shouldn't be a guy that has to try to fight everybody who says something bad about him or does something bad to him, right? As long as it's not somebody putting their hands on you. You shouldn't be so up in arms over every little thing. Because they say, if if a person can control your emotions, then they control your happiness, right? They can control whether you have a good day. They can control whether you have a bad day. And you don't want to live like that. You want to have that peace and joy to you, right? But you got to develop that by regulating your emotions. See, a lot of dudes end up putting hands on women because they be all in their feelings over whatever it is, right? Then what? You end up in jail. Or sometimes it could be worse. Emotions could lead to dudes eliminating themselves or eliminating the girl or another guy. It just gets, it gets scary. All because you couldn't handle your emotions. Because it's it's easy to do something in a split second. But you got to think of the long-term consequences that comes for that. You could ruin your whole life all because you were too emotional in, one, in like one second, right? And another thing is people will purposely try to use that against you. Once they figure out that um, emotional stability is your weaknesses oh oh yeah they're going to use that against you they're going to purposely do things to get you up in arms right just to ruin your day because misery loves company that's what that's another thing you can't let people see that they get under your skin right because then they win because the opposite of Love is not hate. It's not somebody yelling at you. It's not you cussing them out. It's just indifference. The best way to hurt somebody and, you know, to um, get your revenge is to go silent. Go ghost. Right? And focus on you. That's the best way to get somebody. Not harming them physically. Not cussing them out. Not doing none of that. All that takes energy from you, right? When you're over emotional, you waste a lot of energy doing that. And we want to work smarter, not harder. I always say that. So you have to control how you feel. I mean, you can't control how you feel all the time, but you can control if how you feel affects the way you behave if how you feel affects your responsibilities right just because you get mad are you going to give up your responsibilities you still going to hit up the gym right you still going to go to work you still going to work on your business that you're trying to get off the ground or are you just going to throw it all away because you're in your feelings I seen some on Instagram and say 2024 is about motion, not emotion. And that's real talk. Leave the feelings out of it. Right? 
it's a lot of work that needs to be done. Get up on your grind. If you grinding, you got no time to be in your feelings. See, dudes be in their feelings because they got too much time on their hands. They not doing nothing, right? They too, too busy looking around, seeing what everybody else doing, right? So, again, learn how to control your emotions and watch how you control your life for the better. Things will start to change for you, all right? All right, that's it for this video, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Give your boy some feedback. Let me know how y'all feeling. Till the next video. It's lit. Gone.